11.1 at Molyneux this season, the Wolves desperately needed a win in front of their own fans. After losing to Port Vale in the week, Tim Steele was brought back after injury. As for Oxford, despite four defeats in four games, no panic changes from manager Brian Horton. He stuck with his full-strength side. He may have been regretting it after only three minutes of Wolves went flying into the lead. It was Steele's cross that set up Robbie Dennison. The shot deflecting off Steve Foster, but Oxford well beaten. It was 2-0 after seven minutes. Inevitably, Steve Bull, the scorer, his fourth in five games. United defence totally lost as Bully hammered it in. Wolves were on the charge now. It was nearly three a few moments later. Paul Cook's free kick bringing the best out of Oxford keeper Ken Vasey. Cook again was firing at the United goal as Wolves took total control. Vasey kept him out and saved his side from more trouble. The chances kept rolling for Wolves. The problems kept piling up for Oxford as Steve Foster messed up a clearance, let Steve Bull in and Mike Ford cleared off the line. Wolves made it three just before half-time. The Oxford United defence stood still and waited for an offside decision. Tim Steele caught them out and finished perfectly. In the second half, Oxford came to their senses. They threw on both subs. Dave Penny brought them to life and set up a goal. His shot beaten out. Paul Simpson finally set it up for Lee Nogan to score. United came bursting forward then. Paul Simpson was a whisker away from a second here. Wolves, though, deservedly in command. The first home win for them. Five defeats in five for Oxford. Wolves three, Oxford one. <laughs>